Hello, my heroes, and welcome now to Thursday. Well, for a second day in a row, overcast and pretty moody, frankly, with the moon in Pisces and buried in your subconscious, I'm expecting Aries to be purging some ancient stuff. Now, the goal here emotionally is for you to reach a new level of faith, for you emotionally to not break down, to not fall into any of your old stories or your old scripts, and to stand in an emotional space that makes you feel confident about yourself in the universe and faith that the universe will work in your favor. By the way, it always will. If you don't think so, you haven't gotten to the end of the lesson yet. Now in the foreground, you're doing construction on the ego. It's your birthday month, but this is an intense birthday month. I want you to know, you probably have already realized this, but in this birthday period, a lot of intense change, right Aries? That's because Pluto changed during the course of this birthday, and you are kind of really letting a new charisma begin to take its own course. By charisma in astrology, we mean really the way you react to certain stimulus, in other words, your defense mechanisms, your charisma, the way you dress, the way you present yourself, the way you shake hands. It's that first impression, right, that people say is so important. Well, that is what's undergoing a lot of construction. I think today you're very pensive about figuring out some of those answers. Yesterday was a breakthrough day. Then lastly, I want to point out Mercury has moved into your sign as well. That means that even though you're kind of brooding under the seams emotionally, you're going to find that your mind gets quite crisp and clear. Mercury is going to be in your sign for some time, and that's going to be really great if you need to negotiate, talk to people, or overcome any of these new ego issues you're trying to let happen. All right, Aries, that's all I have for Thursday. I'll see you tomorrow with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be.